morning, everybody. It is Monday, March 30th. And it's time for your first day of your second week of digital distant learning. I know you're excited. Hey, um, let's dive right into it. I had a meeting with a whole bunch of teachers and some principals, and we kind of discussed what, what are things going to look like for the next few weeks, how should we do this, what should our protocol be, and you'll be happy to know I was excited, it was very validating for me, <clears throat> that we're going to continue doing things the way that we are doing them. And everybody else has been called, told to kind of do it like this. So here's a few things that everybody's going to be doing. Everybody's going to get all of their assignments at 9 a.m. or about 9 a.m. 9 a.m. when you log on, you will find your non-negotiable tasks. They're already listed there for you today. Um, those are the things you have to do every day. They're non-negotiable. You've got to do them. Even if I don't make any other posts that day, like let's say I get sick. <coughs> oh, I'm sick. I'm still making you work. So, you will get those non-negotiable items posted daily. They're listed non-negotiable items. Do that. Then there's tasks specific for the day. Those tasks are the Monday tasks. Uh, those tasks are the lessons for Mondays, the videos for Mondays, the specific things for Monday that I want you to do. Hey, by the way, today is Monday. Those tasks will all be loaded up by 9, about 9 a.m., maybe a little bit after, maybe a little bit before, 9 a.m. Your tasks are presented to you in kind of a checklist fashion. Go right down the list. You know, hey, I did that, I did that, I did that, I did that, I did that. I'm done! When you're done, send me an email. Some of you have gotten into the habit of that. Like, your email is just going to say, hey, Mr. Lucas, I'm done for the day. You could write me a full paragraph. Hey, Mr. Lucas, I've done for the day. These are the things that I thought were easy, and these are the things that I thought were hard. hard. Otherwise, you can just send me a sentence. Make sure it's a complete sentence, though. But some of you are really good at sending me that email. Some of you are not. Why? Send me an email. Hey, I'm done for the day. This way I know when I should go check your work and say, oh, okay, well, mm -hmm, you're done. Well, let me just do that. I'll go look online. Oh, you actually are done. Pretty cool. So, everyday 9 a.m. tasks are posted, there's non-negotiable tasks, there's daily tasks, make sure you get those done. Um, Fridays! Hey, you know how in class on Friday we normally do checklists, so we don't really do a lot of uh, new assignments? We're going to continue doing that like this on Friday. You're not going to get checklists, you might get an email from me. Um, but the email will say, you know, what are you missing for the week, what should you work on, what should you fix? That kind of stuff. Um, Friday, there will be no new content. No new content. Maybe like a new chapter of the read aloud. But otherwise, no new content from here on out. Um, and then that gives you an opportunity to take that Friday and make sure that everything all is caught up and completed correctly. You will be checking your emails regularly, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, especially Friday. Because on Friday is when you're going to get the email from me that's going to say, hey, to you, what I need you to fix. So, every day, every week, until we go back to school, this is what things are going to look like. I hope you enjoy it. You're going to have to do it anyways. Let's talk specifically about today's tasks. Your first task today is to watch this video. Good on you. You're already doing that. Second task today is to check your email. Got to check your email every day. There's probably no new emails from me. Wait. No. There definitely is one. I send your parents an email every Sunday. Kind of outlines what did we do last week, what are we going to do next week. This last email... Um, was just uh, kind of th that portion that I just talked about, you know, 9 a.m. schedules, Fridays, not having to do stuff. Well, not having to do new stuff. Um, the email that I sent them pretty, pretty much outlines that. So words of support. This is hard. Your parents are doing a great job. You guys are doing a great job. There's an email there. Feel welcome to read it. Feel welcome to ignore it. Typically, those emails go just to your parents, but I'm going to start sending them to you guys, too, because why not? So, email. Um, in your tasks this morning, you've got your number corner. There is a number corner. Yeah, number corner. Uh, There's a number corner video for you to watch. It's about area and perimeter. That's all about creating those figures. Remember how you guys drew those pictures? And then we were creating irregular polygons. We're going to go back into doing that every day. That means that you're going to get irregular polygons every day. You guys are going to master this concept. Yes. Second thing you've got to do today is um, there is... My list is not in front of me, and I have no idea what the next thing is you need to do all day. Oh my goodness, how unprepared am I? I gotta wait for it to load. Ugh. Oh, look, it's loaded. 
Oh, yeah, here we go. All right, back into it. So there's a new chapter for Rump, chapter 24. There's the math store problems. Ooh, there's a lesson it's about store problems. Yep, check that out. There's a PDF that goes along with that. I would highly recommend when you do the store problems, you print the PDFs off first if you can. If you can't pre print them off, open them on another tab and follow along as we do the work, okay? Um, you're going to want that. I'm telling you, you're going to want those. Uh, there's the number corner we already talked about. That one's about area and perimeter. It's all about those irregular polygons. There's a Scholastic News link. Scholastic News, yeah, with Quiz Whiz. Oh, yeah. You're going to get two days on all these assignments, okay, especially Quiz Whiz. Um, you're actually going to get two days and two attempts at Quiz Whiz, yeah. Your first attempt, just like we do in class, I'm going to see how you did. Your second attempt, if you did not get 70 or better, like, if you didn't get, you know, the 10 questions, you didn't get seven of them right, I'm making you redo the entire assignment. I'm not going to tell you which ones you got right. I'm not going to tell you which ones you got wrong. I'm just going to say that you didn't get a passable grade. Do it again. There's no excuse for getting those questions wrong. You have the Scholastic News right there. Well, you have the Scholastic News right there on a computer screen. There are instructions with that, how to um, access the Scholastic News online, but it's super easy. All you got to do is type in scholasticnews.com. It'll take you to the website. Click in the corner. It says log in. You're going to click on student login because you're not me. You're you. You're students. And then you're going to type in the name Lucas21. Lucas21. 21. 21 is our room number. I don't know if you knew that, but our room number is 21. Um, and then there's an essay. An essay. Yes. Love essays. You know I love essays. I give you guys essays all the time. Hey, you get a new essay. There's an outline for it. There's a document for you to check out. It outlines what should go in each paragraph and what that should be about. Your essay this time out is about folk tales. Here's the question you got to answer. Which was your favorite folk tale? Myths are folk tales. Tall tales are folk tales. Fairy tales are folk tales. And fables are folk tales. What was your favorite kind of of folktale, and then more specifically, what was your favorite kind of kind? So if you say that myths was your favorite kind, yeah, what was your favorite myth that we looked at? Uh, if you're going to say tall tales are your favorite kind, I'm going to want to know which one of those tall tales was your favorite. If you're going to say that fairy tales are your favorite, I'm going to want to know about which fairy tale. And if you're going to tell me that fables are your favorite, I'm going to want to know which fable. There's documents there uploaded to help you with this process. Um, Check it out. Make sure that you read it carefully. You've got, you know, all week for this essay, guys. I'm looking for the final essay to be in on Friday. Done and ready to go. That means that you've finished it. You sent it to me. I've edited it. I've sent it back to you. You fixed it and sent it back to me. That's what done looks like. All right, folks, there's a more detailed explanation on that one. Online, check out that post. That is all the stuff that I have for you today. Hey, it's Monday. Let's hit the ground running and let's run it hard. If you have questions, if you have comments, if you have concerns, you got to send me an email. You let me know. Um, every day I will be sitting in front of this desk that you can't see all day long. Okay, so if you send me an email t around the typical school hours, we'll call that 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., I am almost guaranteed to send you an email back just as quickly as I can. If you send me an email past 3 o'clock, you got to give me some time. Um, I've got, you know, the next day to plan for. I've got, like, a family to manage. And, um, yeah, so 9 to 3, that's the best time to try to get a hold of me. You guys are great. You guys did a wonderful job last week. Some of you made one another look bad because you did so wonderfully. Let's be on that group of people who's doing that great. All right, guys? You're wonderful. Take your time. Do your best. Let me know if you have any questions. Wash your hands and have a wonderful Monday morning, everybody.